Welcome to a quick tutorial on some of the basics of Zoom. Keep watching to learn how to sign on and get started. In this video, we'll cover signing into your university account, downloading the desktop client, checking for updates, and basic in-meeting tools. All students, faculty, and staff at Minnesota State University Mankato have a premium university Zoom account. Always sign in using this account instead of using the free version. Your premium university account is more secure, has more options, and is already created for you. You can sign in on the web or download the desktop client. Here's how to sign in on the web using our secure MinState portal. Open your web browser and go to minstate.zoom.us. This will take you to our secure MinState portal where you can use single sign-on to access your university account. Click sign in. Then, simply enter your star ID and star ID password and click Sign On. If you prefer using a desktop app instead of a web version, here's how to download the Zoom client. Open your web browser and go to minstate.zoom.us forward slash download. This will take you to Zoom's Download Center, where you can download the most recent version of the Zoom desktop client to your computer. There are also various other add-ins, browser extensions, and mobile apps available on this page. To download the Zoom desktop client, click the first Download button under the header Zoom Client for Meetings. Once the download is complete, there are a few special steps you need to take to sign in to your university account through the desktop client using single sign-on. After download, launch the Zoom application. Then click sign in. Next, choose the option that says sign in with SSO or single sign-on. Then, enter the domain name of our secure MinState portal, which is simply just MinState. Then, click Continue. This will prompt your web browser to open, and you'll be asked to sign on. Enter your star ID and star ID password and click Sign On. You may get a pop-up asking for permission to open the Zoom desktop client. If so, click Open. Then, your Zoom desktop client should automatically open to your University Zoom account, and you're good to go. You can manually check for Zoom updates in order to make sure you're running the latest version, so you can stay secure. Here's how. First, launch your Zoom desktop client. Then, Open the Profile drop-down menu by clicking your profile photo in the top right corner. Then, click Check for Updates. If an update is available, click Update and follow the installation instructions on your device. There are a variety of helpful tools and settings in Zoom meetings. Here are just a few helpful tips. You can share your screen in Zoom by clicking the green Share Screen button on the toolbar. A menu with settings will display. Choose the content you want to share and click Share in the bottom right corner. If you'd like to share video content, there are a few extra settings you can choose to enhance the experience. Click the green Share Screen button on your toolbar and choose the video content you want to share. Then, make sure to check the options Share Computer Sound and Optimize Screen Share for Video Clip. Then, click Share and play your video. While in a meeting, you can hide yourself 
from your view in order to better concentrate on other people in the call. Click the drop down menu in the top right corner of your profile. Then choose hide self view. You can also pin certain users to your screen so they never disappear from your view. Click the drop down menu in the top right corner of the user's profile. Then choose pin. Using polls is a great way to boost engagement in your meeting. To create a poll, click the polling button on your toolbar. Then click add a question and follow the prompts on your screen. Using a virtual background is a great way to ensure privacy and keep things professional. To enable a virtual background, first launch your Zoom desktop client. Then open the profile drop-down menu by clicking your profile photo in the top right corner. Then choose Settings. Click Background and Filters, and then choose your desired background. There are so many more ways you can customize your Zoom meetings for a better experience. To find more tips and learn advanced settings, go to mnsu.edu forward slash zoom.